Hi everybody, it's Linda. Um, I know everybody's trying to come together somehow. And I'm going to tell you how my life has been about getting together, protest, calling the government, and doing other things. Um, I've been a protester and activist my entire life, it seems like. Um, in the early 70s, I was drugged to Washington with my Indian cousin. We rode a bus, Washington, D.C., protest the Vietnam War. And when we arrived, they had tanks on the side of the road. And it kind of freaked me out. I was a little girl, man. It just freaked me out. Um, and since then, though, I've always been very active. Lately, I got really active this past year in meeting YouTubers, which I enjoyed very much. Also, prior to that, I went to Second Amendment gun rally protesting the people who wanted to stop weapons. But they weren't protests. The people just sat around and talked. It absolutely made no difference. And I'm thinking, wow, this is not like what I've ever done before. I, I went to the Monsanto march. I've told my, I finally got to tell my, um, the Senator Patty Murray, I guess that's her name, off at an Agenda 21 meeting. That's the only time I've ever, I think I didn't have to go through somebody because, you know, you have to go through somebody to even get in touch with a representative. Um, so I've been active. I've always walked my talk, and I, 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 see, I use that terminology because that's an Indian terminology. You walk your talk. And the only time I'd ever protest again is with Indians, like at the Nez Pierce or down with the Diné or up with the Lakota Sioux, because they put, or if I could go to the First Nations, I'd do it with the Mohawks. Because I'm going to tell you what, when they protest, <laughs> they're going to jail, they're going to die trying to stop something. Um, they have nothing left to lose. So, where do we go from here? First, I got my shirt from Clee Bentley. Everybody's been asking. I'll leave his link below. He's a Navajo Indian, and he's an activist. Um, second, we do need to unite. All of us do. And that is putting differences aside. I don't really know how to go about it. I know that we're going to go meet some YouTubers face-to-face -face this year. Um, but there's other things we can do. I'm not going to call politicians. I've done that before. I don't even believe in them. I, I can't even go to our city council meeting. They go into closed door sessions. That tells you I'm not welcomed. And I've gotten my phone blocked from uh, the Congress in D.C. So, yeah, they'll block you if you piss them off. So I'm not, I'm not even going to bother with that because, in other words, we're, that should tell people um, when you have to call. You can't call Washington, D.C. because they've blocked your phone. They don't give a fuck about you. So, where do we go? What do we do? Like I said, I've walked my talk my entire life, and I can't stop now. I don't care how old I get. I've drugged my kids along in a wagon before to do it. Um, and Kitty goes with me. Kitty's like my security guard. He lets me get loud, and he stands back. And, and it's kind of like a, a woman warrior, because that is the warrior mentality. The women can get out there and get loud and mean and that's what happens in the nation's protest when the native nations do and when you start messing with the women the men step up and and actually the police are scared when the men step up because the women will stay there and fight too but the men will actually protect the women it's really cool women are warriors all women are warriors we we're we give birth we protect we're we're nurturing but we're also like a mama bear when somebody messes with their cub so we have to figure out another way to unite. <clears throat> I don't know exactly as how we can do it. If some people want to call offices, political offices, that's fine. But there's so many things you can, that are going on. And to me, there's some distractions, like I ran chips out there. I don't even want to go any farther with that. You guys can make up your own mind. That's a distraction to me. And they're always throwing distractions out there. Distraction here, distraction there. Um, football. <laughs> Katie calls it football. Well, it is like a good football game. Listening to these people is like a, it's a game. So, I don't know how we come together, and I was going to do this walking today and talk about this. However, the wind's blowing so damn hard you can't hear a word I'm saying. So, my walk for the revolution is standing in front of Kitty's plant. Yes, Kenny has a green thumb for the revolution. Uh, and what kind of revolution is this going to be? Because I get these emails. Well, 
I would hope we certainly, if something could positively happen, I would hope we wouldn't return to the same kind of government that started all this crap to begin with. I would rather follow a more natural law because I think that we all know how to behave. Most of us do. We might have to indoctrinate some people, but it's a slow, maniacal process of un indoctr un indoctrination. But it can be done. And I was just thinking, you know, suggestions on how to do this. I know um, other people are, are setting up stuff. I, I don't know where I fit in in, in this at this point. I know what I'm going to do this spring. I hope others can get out and meet people um, in their local areas because that's just awesome when you do that. And at least you find out people around you. There's nobody in our local area that's even got a clue. We're finding this out. <laughs> <laughs> and that's Kenny laughing. So um, I decided to throw this out here because we do need to meet other people. And um, we need to quit picky, picking on. I, I know some of the YouTubers are getting picked on and you know who you are. I'll just say it. Um, the trolls need to leave the old man Marine alone. I'm just going to say that. Fuck this guy in Shekama or whatever his name is. And he can flag me for using his, in, or his incorporated name. Um, so screw him. But we've got to all come together. Ego set aside. I don't really have an ego. Actually, when I'm in a crowd, I'm very uncomfortable because it's weird. I, we went to, I went to the store at Kenny today, and I said, it's just really uncomfortable. And he, he has to agree because it is um, uncomfortable. It's like, uh, I don't even know how to explain it. I, I don't like, I don't want, to, I'm not a leader. I'll stand beside anybody who's fighting. I think that's what we have to do is stand by one another. I don't think there really is a leader at everything. I think we all lead in certain aspects, and that's it. No egos, no nothing. We're, some are good at this, some are good at that. I'm actually good on the front lines, believe it or not, <clears throat> talking to people, but I'm, I'm not going to do it here in this state anymore. It's like banging your head on a brick wall, or it's just insanity. So I was just wondering, does anybody else know anything? Anybody want to contribute to this? I know the true Ray wants to do some things, and we haven't talked, and we all need to get together. Um, I know DJ and I are talking because we're all going to meet uh, there. That's cool. Uh, I suggest you watch DJ's video, his last one, about the floods. People on the Mississippi River especially, there's nuclear power plants there. When the snow melts, the rivers are going to flood. Shit's going to happen again. Another disaster plan right there. Guys, prepare for what's about to happen. Here come the spring. I mean, people need to get prepared. I know the winters suck right now over there where you are. We had snow for a day. We played in it. It was sad. I would love to have some snow. However, we don't live in an area that floods. Well, our road does flood sometimes, but nothing more. Um, I babbled too long. I just wanted to say hi, and um, I'm alive. I've been doing a lot of thinking, and we're probably going to be moving from this house in the next. We're going to live here another month, but by next month we'll be in something probably a lot smaller, a lot cheaper, so we can save some money because we're going to get the hell out of here and, and get around like-minded folks. And that will help me and Kenny. Love you guys all. Peace, love, and truth. I'm out of here.